Okay, so that's the SuperPi 32M record score with the E8600 CPU at 7 minutes 5.86 seconds. The previous rank 1 score was by Tapakar or Sam OCX at 7 minutes 5.937 seconds. So uh, like uh, 97 millisecond improvement, I think. So this was run at 6657 megahertz. So pretty insane if you ask me. So uh, Tapakar ran his score at 661, I think. So uh, he had extremely good efficiency for that clock speeds and everything. There are some memory settings in the BIOS which I haven't tuned to the max, but I did play a lot with the sub timings and so on. So the memory was at 2130, I think. So 1065 times 2, so 2130 at 675, 20, 58 common rate 1 timings. And many of the sub timings are manually set, as you can see in the Memset program, like uh, refresh interval and so on. Many of them are set to very tight values. So I'm extremely happy. I've tried to get this score for like five years. So I did get it like a few times along the way, or at least once, but I lost the top score to uh, Topaka, of course. So uh, yeah, pretty awesome. I'm extremely happy about this, but uh, from now on, if I want to get like a lot better score, I need to get a better CPU. So this was on my previous, like best E8600 CPU actually, with just one core running. The newest CPU, which did uh, like 6.9 plus, it cannot run SuperPi 32M no matter what I tried with the CPU. So it just refuses to run. It just gets like not exacting round error pop-up screens at easy clock speeds, even at like loop five or loop two, whatever. It cannot run SuperPi 32M sadly. So uh, if I want to improve from here, I, I need to find a better CPU and I might have some in my wares anyways. No idea, I just haven't tested them all. But yeah, extremely happy. My previous like score with this identical CPU was at like 7 minutes and 10 seconds at 6609 I think. Just a tiny bit over 6.6 .6 gigahertz. So I managed to improve the clock speed by 50 megahertz. I think it's pretty awesome if you ask me. So here's the rig itself, in case you wanted to see it. So it's the Rampage Extreme Nismo board from Japan. Kimping cooling F1 Dark on the CPU, of course, which is the very best CPU container for these old 775 CPUs. Uh, two sticks of Corsair Dominator GDX2 memory, binned by Tapakar or Sam OCX. I was actually uh, even inside the operating system at 2200 with 674 timings pretty epic right so uh, yeah so the memory and the board are definitely capable but uh yeah i'm running to a cpu limit over here nvidia 6500 gt just to display the monitor signal i want the graphics card to be as small as possible and this was technically the oldest pci express low-end graphics card that i could find and with capture card, of course, and Superflower Leadex 8 pack 2000 watt platinum power supply. So, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole rig, pretty much the same setup as always. Very awesome that we managed to do the SuperPi 32M top score, but sadly, I started to have very weird issues after getting that score. Maybe it's moisture, don't know, but very weird behavior, anyways. So, I, now I need to disassemble everything and I'll see what I'll do next. So, uh, Thank you for tuning in for this epic 775 overclocking top score. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work and if you want to join my Patreon Discord channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.